So we're going we're to do use the reflex board just to talk about some of the components of the spinal cord, and then move here. So first things first, anterior posterior. So you need to know what's the front, what's the back, because some of the structures are named that way. Uh, two landmarks. You could use this wide groove here. That's always in the front. Or you can use this swelling here. That's always in the back. Anterior, posterior, ventral, dorsal ventral dorsal. So this large groove and this narrow groove actually represent the two halves of the spinal cord. So you have this half joined to this half. Here's where they join in the center. So there's a groove here in the front that separates the right from the left and a groove here that separates the right from the left. This one's wider, this one's more narrow. We call this the anterior median fissure, the posterior median sulcus. Where the two halves meet or are connected, we call that area the commissure, the commissure. Huh? Now, on here, just to show it, there's your anterior median fissure posterior sulcus, and here where they meet would be the area known as the commissure. The next thing to look at is they color-coded two sections. They have a brown and, and white, or dark brown, light brown. Gray matter, white matter. Now, they separate them so that it looks like two distinct structures, gray and white but it isn't really two distinct structures. And I, this is what I mean by that. When we were looking at our neuron, okay, there was an area of the neuron where there was no Schwann cells or myelin, and then there was an area of the neuron where there were Schwann cells and myelin. When you put myelin on a neuron, gives it a lighter color. So when we talk about gray and white matter, we're talking about areas where there's no myelin and areas where there's a lot of myelin. So even though they make these look like distinct structures, they're not. It's a coloration pattern that we see because of the absence or presence of myelin. Look at this multipolar motor neuron, okay? Here's the cell body with the dendrites, and here's the axon. So let's place this there. This is the cell body with the dendrites. It does not have any myelin on it. It's sitting within the gray matter because it's unmyelinated. Then the myelin begins. Then the myelin begins. And the myelinated part is sitting here in the white matter. This is a unipolar sensory, and here is the end of the axon, the telodendria. We know that telodendria are also unmyelinated components. So here, in the dark gray matter is the unmyelinated component, and then here, the axon, which we know is myelinated, sits in the white matter. So these are continuous with one another, but it's a coloration pattern that we refer to as gray and white. What can we say about this neuron here? The entire neuron, cell body, dendrites, axon, telodendria, the entire neuron sits within the gray. Which means what? That the entire neuron is unmyelinated. Not every neuron is myelinated. Peripheral neurons, neurons in the peripheral body, all myelinated. Many neurons in the central nervous system, some in the spinal cord, some in the brain, unmyelinated. That's what that means. 
Yeah. Even though they're blended, and even though it's just a coloration pattern, each section of the gray and white is neat. All right? The gray. These are known as horns. These horns are in the back, so we call them the posterior or dorsal horns of the gray matter. These horns are in the front. We call them the anterior or ventral horns. Now, in some sections of the spinal cord, there is a third horn. Right? So here is our dorsal horn, here is our ventral horn, and here's the third horn. That's the lateral horn, three horns. And then our model's a little broken here, but then there's a piece that's gonna connect to the other side. That would be called the gray commissure. The gray commissure connects one side to the other. Like, they're mirror images of one another, the right and left side connected by the gray commissure. So you have horns, commissure, and then right in the center of the commissure is a hole, a channel that runs the length of the cord. It's called the central canal, and it is also filled with cerebral spinal fluid. 